So I have theory.py opened, and I'm gonna start off with talking about generators and then coroutines and then finally asynchronous generators. That's part of the theory section. After that, we'll actually produce a small application. Okay, generators, what are they? Generators are basically something in Python that produces a sequence of values. That sequence could be a sequence of integers, floats, strings, booleans, a sequence of any, ty any type of value. So what I'd like to do is I would like to produce a sequence of odd values starting at some starting point and ending at some stopping point. That's what I'd like to do. So I'm going to create a function called odds. And this function will have two parameters, one called start and one called stop. And so let's say the start is three and the stop is 15. That means it will produce a sequence of odd values from that starting point to the stopping point. And in this case here, it's gonna be inclusive of the stopping point. Okay, so I need a way of creating a bunch of numbers from the start, from a starting point to a stopping point. And of course, range is a good way of doing that. So I'm gonna say for i in range, how about we call this O, odd, in range, and we're gonna start at the starting point, and we're gonna stop at the stopping point, but we're gonna add one because range, of course, doesn't, this, the stopping point is actually exclusive. It doesn't include it. So I'm gonna do plus one. So it does include the stop point. And I'm gonna go every two values. So this is gonna be odd. So if I, if I start at three, it's gonna go three, five, seven, nine, et cetera, up until the stop point, okay? Now this looks like a normal function so far with a normal for loop. Now what makes it different is I'm gonna use this keyword yield. And what yield is gonna do is it's basically gonna return out the first value and then pause. And then whoever's calling this function next will ask this function to resume. So a generator is basically a function that can pause its execution and then resume at any time later, okay? And I think the best way to show this is through IPython. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to my terminal and I'm gonna go into IPython and load up this function. So here's IPython, it's interactive, and I'm gonna load up theory.py. And if I do who's here, who's basically lets me see all the variables that are loaded in this session. And odds is, is my function that I created. Now remember I said this, this odds thing is actually a generator. If you call it, it's a generator. So if I say odds, or returns a generator. If I say odds and I say three, two, 15, let's say, that was my example and I hit enter, it actually doesn't run this uh, function. It actually produces, like I said, a generator. So this is your generator. Now, there's something that you can do from this generator. Let's go ahead and put this into a variable. We'll call it G, G for generator, and there it is. How this thing works is, if you say next, now next is a built-in function in Python. If I say next G and run it, this next function actually causes the generator to run up until the yield point and then it stops. So it gets up to yield, it yields out the value, returns out the value, and then it stops execution. To start the function re-executing again, you just say next G again, and you go five, seven, nine, 11, 13, 15. Now we're at the end of execution. Now what's gonna happen now is if I do another next, I actually get this stop iteration exception from Python, and that lets me know, and it lets also Python know that this generator has been exhausted. It's now quote unquote empty, okay? Because if I call this generator again next, you'll continue getting a stop iteration. Now you could actually produce another generator, right? I could say G1, and I can go from let's say seven to 11. And so what's G1? It's a generator as well too. And if I say next on G1, seven, nine, 11. Now there's something else we could possibly do. Let's do, let's create another generator. Let's call this G2 and let's go from seven, let's say to 21. Instead of saying next, 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 I could actually just produce a list of these things. 
And so I could say list of G2. And when you say list of a generator, what actually happens internally is it calls next, 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 and it exhausts the generator until it's empty. So where I would, normally you don't call next, next, next on a generator, there's these built-in functions, for example, like for loops or these list constructors where I type in list and the generator and it exhausts the generator and it puts every value from the generator into this list. If I were to do one more, let's say G3, and let's go three to 21. So G3 is a generator. I can say four, let's say X in G3, which is a generator. And I can print X like that. And yeah, so now there was a couple different ways of causing this generator to run. One is I can just do next, next, next on it. The other one is I can call like some constructor function, like a list or a tuple, for example, and that'll cause the generator to run. Or I can just use this for in loop and that also causes the uh, generator to run. So once again, this thing produces a generator and the generator will run up until the yield point. It stops executing. And then once you call next again, it'll, it's like cranking the wheel. It cranks until the next iteration cranks again, the next iteration cranks again, the next, next iteration until it's done. And once it's done, you get a stop iteration exception. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Let's actually use this in a real life use this inside of theory.py instead of a, like a main function. So I'm going to say def main. And I'm going to create some odd values. Okay. Now how I'm going to do that is I'm going to say, I'm just going to create a list. I'm going to say odd in odd for odd in odds. And I'm going to pass in say three to 15. Okay, odd for odd in odds, three to 15. So this is gonna produce some numbers from three up to 15, it's inclusive because I do a plus one here. And this is a list comprehension. This is gonna produce a new list for me, but I could have done the list thing that I just mentioned a minute ago. Now, if I print out odd values, that should work. And then finally, I'm gonna say, if the name of this module is equal to main, then let's run our actual main program like that. Okay, so let's try that. If I exit out of my Python terminal, and now I'm going to say Python theory. And yeah, so here, it actually produced a list from three up to 15. Right here from three to 15. Now I could have done just another way. And I, I had mentioned this before in the IPython terminal, I could say odds, let's call this two is equal to, let's say a tuple of them. Odds, let's say from 21 to 29. And now this will produce a tuple of odds from 21 to 29. So here's my original odd values and I can print out odds two. So these are multiple ways of causing this generator to run. One is I can do this for in loop, which causes the generator to run. The other thing I can do is just pass the generator into this tuple and it will also cause it to run. So let's try that. And yeah, so this was the original list. This was, this was from the list comprehension and this is from the generator basically turned into a tuple until it ends. So this was a little demo about generators and how they work. And then we will be adding on to this and showing you how generators actually apply to asynchronous IO.